Hi have a nice day, in the realm of cutting-edge transportation. Few innovations have captured the imagination as profoundly as the maglev train. With its sleek design and unparalleled speed capabilities, the maglev train stands at the forefront of modern engineering, promising to reshape the way we traverse the world. As we delve into the intricate mechanisms and remarkable features of this technological marvel, we embark on a journey to uncover the captivating story behind the maglev train's rise to prominence and its potential to redefine high-speed travel as we know it. So let's begin. Maglev Train. A Revolutionary Transportation System. Maglev Train, short for Magnetic Levitation Train, is a type of transportation system that uses magnetic forces to lift, propel, and guide a vehicle over a track. Unlike conventional trains that rely on wheels and rails, maglev trains float above the track, eliminating friction and allowing for higher speeds and greater efficiency. Maglev trains have been in commercial use since 1984, and several countries are developing or operating maglev systems for urban or intercity transportation. How does maglev work? Maglev trains work on the principle of magnetic attraction or repulsion between two sets of magnets, one on the vehicle and one on the track. There are two main types of maglev systems, electromagnetic suspension and electrodynamics suspension. Electromagnetic suspension uses the attractive force between electromagnets on the vehicle and iron rails on the track to levitate the vehicle. The gap between the vehicle and the track is about 1.3 cm, 0.5 inch, and it is maintained by sensors and feedback loops that adjust the current in the electromagnets. The propulsion and braking are provided by linear motors on the track, which create a moving magnetic field that pushes or pulls the vehicle. Electrodynamics suspension uses the repulsive force between superconducting magnets on the vehicle and coils on the track to levitate the vehicle. The gap between the vehicle and the track is larger, ranging from 1 to 10 centimeters, 0.4 to 3.9 inches, and it is created by the interaction of the magnetic fields when the vehicle moves at a certain speed. The propulsion and braking are also provided by linear motors on the track but they use alternating current to change the polarity of the coils and create a wave of attraction and repulsion that moves the vehicle. What are the advantages and challenges of maglev? Maglev trains have several advantages over conventional trains, such as higher speed. Maglev trains can reach speeds of over 400 km per hour, 250 miles per hour, compared to about 300 km per hour, 186 miles per hour, for conventional high-speed trains. The fastest maglev train in operation is the Shanghai Transrapid, which connects Shanghai Pudong International Airport and the outskirts of central Pudong, Shanghai. It covers a distance of 30.5 kilometers, 19 miles, in just over 8 minutes, with a top speed of 430 kilometers per hour, 270 miles per hour. Lower noise. Maglev trains do not have mechanical contact with the track so they produce less noise than conventional trains. The main sources of noise are aerodynamic drag and air turbulence around the vehicle. Smoother ride. Maglev trains do not experience bumps or vibrations from uneven rails, so they offer a smoother ride for passengers. The suspension system also compensates for curves and slopes, ensuring a comfortable and stable ride. Lower maintenance. Maglev trains do not have moving parts that wear out or need replacement such as wheels, axles, bearings, or brakes. The only parts that require maintenance are the electromagnets or superconducting magnets, which need cooling and power supply. The track also needs less maintenance than conventional rails, as it does not suffer from corrosion or deformation. Higher safety. Maglev trains are less likely to derail or collide than conventional trains, as they are controlled by computer systems that monitor the speed, position, and distance of each vehicle. The vehicles are also designed to withstand fire, earthquake, or terrorist attacks. In case of emergency, the vehicles can be stopped quickly by reversing the polarity of the linear motors or activating backup wheels. However, maglev trains also face some challenges, such as high cost. Maglev trains are more expensive to construct than conventional trains, as they require special tracks, power systems, and vehicles. The cost of building a maglev system depends on various factors, such as terrain, distance, 
capacity, and technology. For example, the Shanghai Transrapid cost about $1.2 billion to build, while the proposed California High-Speed Rail project is estimated to cost about $68 billion. Limited compatibility. Maglev trains cannot use existing railway infrastructure, so they need dedicated tracks that are separate from conventional trains. Environmental impact. Maglev trains consume more energy than conventional trains, especially at high speeds, as they have to overcome air resistance and generate magnetic fields. The energy consumption of a maglev system depends on the type of power source, the efficiency of the conversion, and the design of the vehicle and the track. Maglev trains also produce electromagnetic fields that may affect human health, wildlife, or electronic devices. However, these effects are generally considered negligible or manageable with proper shielding and regulation. What is the future of maglev? Maglev trains have been in development for over a century, but they are still not widely adopted or commercially viable. However, several countries are pursuing maglev projects for various purposes and benefits. Some of the current or planned maglev systems are China. China has the most extensive and ambitious maglev program in the world, with several operational, under construction, or proposed maglev lines. Besides the Shanghai Transrapid, China has a low-speed maglev line in Changsha that uses electrodynamic suspension technology and can reach 100 km per hour, 62 miles per hour. China is also building a high-speed maglev line in Beijing that will use electromagnetic suspension technology and can reach 600 km per hour, 373 miles per hour. China plans to develop more maglev lines in other cities, such as Chengdu, Guangzhou, Hangzhou, Shenzhen, and Tianjin. China also aims to create a global maglev network that will connect Asia, Europe, Africa and Japan. Maglev trains are a testament to the power of human ingenuity and creativity, as they use a simple principle of physics to achieve amazing results. Maglev trains are not only a mode of transportation, but also a symbol of progress and development. They offer a glimpse into the future of mobility and connectivity, where distance and time are no longer barriers. Maglev trains are truly a marvel of modern engineering and technology. I hope you liked the article, thanks for watching, please watch, subscribe and comments, stay connected for more.